this really has been a, a very collaborative effort with a lot of people contributing ideas who have not previously been asked to contribute ideas to a jobs bill. And we hope those shine through. Um, we're keenly aware that it's not government that creates the jobs. It's, it's entrepreneurs like Bob and Allison who create the jobs. We can facilitate, we can help, we can remove obstacles um, when we identify them, and that's our responsibility. So this job's built. A few people have said, boy, there's, there's a lot of things in here. It's hard to chew on. And, and it is. There's a lot of small incremental pieces in here that together we hope will make a significant impact. Uh, but as we all know, there's not a lot of resources right now. This is not about spending a lot of money in new areas. This is about focusing our efforts, being strategic about our thoughts, and working together across agencies and across the private sector with our educational institutions to get things done in a way that perhaps could, could really transform what we're doing. I'll give you a few examples. Um, we've got, uh, uh, I, I was surprised to find when I came to the agency, we don't have any office associated with the creative economy. We have uh, been talking about the creative economy for 15 years, um, and we don't have anyone tasked with uh, really focusing on those opportunities and resources. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to task somebody with a, a very clear focus on the creative arts, on software development, on engineering, on those things that constitute the broader creative economy so that we have what you might characterize as a Mac brain in a PC world um, in the office of, of economic development. Um, we want to work on mentoring entrepreneurs. If you talk to any commercial loan officer or friends from Vita, advised firms do a lot better than uh, firms that are in isolation. And so we want to help connect experienced entrepreneurs, COOs, CEOs, CFOs, people who have been there in the middle of the night and connect them with, with developing entrepreneurs so that we can assure more success. Uh, we have a series of agricultural programs that I'll, I'll let Chuck speak to. Um, but I, I want to say that we're going to work very closely together developing a Vermont brand mechanism that our Vermont entrepreneurs can license for use with value-added agriculture, but also with other manufactured products, services that has very tight definition but fits in easily and promptly with our tourism marketing, with our state branding, so that people experience a very consistent message and feel. We reinforce our Vermont businesses as they go to market, and we get reinforced uh, in return as they're in the market at a much higher density level than we could ever be. Chuck, would you like to talk about the farm to plate components? Sure. And I want to say one more thing about uh, um, Bob and Allison. They are a perfect example of the opportunity this bill is trying to seize. I remember being in Bob's basement 25 years ago in his aging room. That's where he started this business with Allison. They aged cheese in his basement in Williston. Now look at where we are today. This is the kind of opportunity this bill is trying to, to seize on. And specific, a little more specifically, the bill starts to build and deepen the Vermont brand so we can promote the quality products we have in Vermont, some of the best milk in the world, some of the best cheeses made in the world, and it also addresses issues of capacity. We are, in, through this bill, enabling some of our new entrepreneurial farmers to expand their capacity in fruits and vegetables and get them into the marketplace where they may be struggling right now, get them to the large stores. We're helping educate um, the meat cutters and also build some of the meat in, uh, industry infrastructure that is so necessary to build the animal husbandry industry that we need and want in this state. All these kinds of actions are really about creating jobs in the agriculture economy. There's a long list in this bill, that, and that a lot of them are small, but they're important and they dovetail nicely with other things that are going on in the state of Vermont. But it is a manifestation of much of what is addressed in the farm to plate. Gap equipment for certifying uh, that farmers need to be have their food certified or audited to get into the stores. We have, um, as I mentioned, the meat cutting skills being uh, provided here. Uh, we have uh, enhancement for our farm to school where we connect our students and our schools to our farmers so the products are actually served in our schools. We have, uh, we're advancing and trying to advance CSAs uh, in their presence with actual state employees so we can actually build on the success at, in Lawrence's building in National Life where the CSA actually drops off for state employees and they can pick it up right there at work. Um, 
the internship program is enormously important. Um, and we're also aiming at things like uh, veterinarians, uh, where we have a, a shortage of large animal vets in certain parts of the state. We have a, an initiative in here to uh, address that so we can attract the veterinarians to those parts of the state where we need that kind of help. These are the kinds of things that the bill is, is trying to do, trying to seize the opportunity we see in agriculture, exemplified by this business right here. Everything that we do in all of these sectors primarily rely on having a great workforce. So workforce development is a key part of this, from internship programs for high school and college students, career readiness certificates, additional transitional training later in life. Um, we're trying to address the culture of lifetime learning that is necessary for people to be successful in today's work environment. And it is cultural that, that we need to make this shift. It's not program by program. If we all get to the point where we are, are at that point in an emotional sense where we understand that continuous learning, continuous openness to, to, to new ideas is critical for continuing to develop our economy and continuing to develop ourselves, um, that's, that's where we need to get. Um, Governor. 